Hi, I'm Councillor Lisa Mulherring. I lead for Climate Change, Transport and Sustainable Development at Leeds City Council. And I've been speaking to the citizens' jury this evening. We're trying to explain to them um, a bit of context about the council, the population that we serve and the challenges that people in the city face and then how the council has uh, declared a climate emergency and what that means in terms of our conversation with people in Leeds and the practical changes that we're making as a council. From changing our own vehicle fleets, we've got the largest electric vehicle fleet of any council in the country, to work to raise standards in housing. We've got uh, a large council housing um, stock in the city those standards have already been raised and we're working with the University of Leeds to work out how we can further improve energy efficiency in our council housing. To the big challenging question of how we improve private rented sector housing and then what we're doing around planning and making sure that volume house builders in the future create better homes in the city with lower water consumption, with higher energy standards and with better living conditions for uh, householders. Then we've also been looking at what we can do in terms of the council as a school, a local authority, education provider, um, and looking at school meals for instance, how we can change them and make people aware of the carbon footprint of what they eat. So on a whole range of different issues from waste, um, where we're trying to reduce waste and also trying to ensure that um, the waste that can't be recycled and go through our energy from waste plant is then creating heat for homes. 2,000 homes in the Leeds City Council area now uh, receiving heat from the district uh, heating network and the pipes that go through the city centre at the moment that are going to be serving public buildings in Leeds as well. Then on to transport. Active travel, as you know, is something we're really trying to promote, cycling and walking, and improvements to public transport as well despite the fact that we don't actually run the public transport system in Leeds. But new rail halts, park and ride, and improvements to the routes that our buses run on to make them more reliable and efficient for um, the people who are travelling in and out of the city to get them out of cars and onto public transport as we work together with our five West Yorkshire local authorities to see if we can actually get some of those services back into public control.